with sleep deprivation. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's raining so hard. And now it's so foggy. <laughs> we even have our own jacuzzi. This is like peak luxury. We are in the middle of nowhere and we have a flat tire. We are stranded. Hi, Stances! My name is Jan. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the world, world of extra. extra. And my name is Dewey. My name is Mama. Oh my god, this trio in a car is so, so nostalgic. This is pretty much our childhood. Oh my god, yeah. We grew up with Stewie here, me here, and my mom driving us everywhere when we were living in Cebu. And it just feels so weird. And this is Stewie's first time in this car. And just like first time driving with everyone in like eight years. <laughs> yeah, this is so weird. The last time I was sitting here, I was such a tiny little child and Stewie was a literal baby. I was like this, now I'm like... <laughs> Anyway, this is my ultimate Philippines vlog, so I hope you guys enjoy. Today, we are going to go to SM City Cebu to film a video for my mom. If you guys want to watch that, it's probably going to be up soon, so go watch my mom's channel at World of Mama. Let's go! Okay, so first stop is we came to SM. We're just shopping right now for my mom's shoes, and I'm not even like supposed to shop while I'm in the Philippines because it's not like a shopping place. Like, shopping is better in Japan. These are my favorite shoes I always wear. They're from Birkenstock, but they're so insanely expensive that I only have one one pair of them but here we found this brand called Outland and they have like all the colors it's kind of insane like the color choices they have and it's like a quarter of the price of the Birkenstock one and I think like Outland isn't like a bad brand like I've heard of them before when I was living here but I just don't know which color to get they're all so similar these are the ones I own right now and these are the color contenders I think I really like the gray earthy color there's the black one which I can pair with anything but I don't know which one to get I I think you should get the middle one. Stewie thinks I should get the middle one. Mama, dude, dude, go to the middle this one? Yeah, I think so too. I think this one, right? This is like $50. I got these for like $200. So it's like a quarter of a price. So maybe I should get two. Maybe. Yeah, because I'm probably gonna want to buy new ones in Japan as well. Might as well just get it here, you know? And the black ones as well. Okay, I'm getting both. My mom's gonna get new pairs of shoes too, by the way. I'm getting both. Okay, so I know I've said that I'm not coming to Starbucks anymore in any of my videos. But today, we came to Starbucks for one thing and one thing only. And that's because we wanted the black, pink, X Starbucks drink that's only exclusive to Starbucks Philippines and it was literally like $12 for a grande. It comes with a reusable black pink straw and cup. Okay, Stewie, try it. This is the most expensive Starbucks drink I've ever seen in my life. I need to take a picture. Stewie is so excited. His hands are literally shaking. <laughs> Stewie is so funny. He was like, can we use your hands so it's pretty? This is me, hand model. And for the main event, he's gonna give us a review. Wait, this is also, <gasps> even the cover is reusable. Yeah. Wait, oh my god. It's so good. It's like strawberry milk. 62 out of 2. <laughs> Wait, it's actually like strawberry milk. Right? It's strawberry milk. That's yummy. For that price point though, I feel like you can just go to the convenience. I feel like you can just go to the convenience <laughs> store and buy like a 200 yen strawberry milk. Not worth it. But with the cup that it comes with, I think... It's worth it. I was in a music video for this Japanese music artist and it just came out 25 seconds ago, so we're gonna watch it. So my mom had to leave because she has work tomorrow, but we made it to Highlands de Busai. Thanks to Nicola, this is her favorite place in the entire country because she's a mountain girl. Oh my god, the entirety of Cebu City. Wow. I'm so excited. This is such a vibe. Literally dinner by the cliff, just watching the entire city. <gasps> Our table is literally by the cliff and you can see the entirety of Cebu City. It's so nice. And also look at their food. This entire onsa ni pork. This tomahawk. Onsa ni pork. Onsa pork chop. Pork chop. This entire pork chop. <laughs> You guys know me and my pork chop. And also, of course, I had to get myself a green mango juice. And even their rice is a heart. Let's try their food. Cheers to our love. Mm, green mango juice is probably one of my favorite juices in the world, but I can only have it when I'm in the Philippines and not even everywhere. They only have it in some places. Ooh. Wow. wow. <laughs> we got coconut shell curry. This is curry. That's wild. Oh my god, it smells like coconut cream. This is gonna vogue. It said seafood, so I think it's just a bunch of like fishes and crabs and clams and shrimps. <laughs> 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 
It's so good. Let's try this big fat pork chop. Tomahawk pork chop in what's the name? Mom. Out of 29 dollars. July 29. Mom. Life changing pork chop. You know me, I'm pork chop so master. Juicy. So juicy. Addict. <laughs> yeah, make kind of, wait, why is that so good? It's actually so so good. Like this is probably like one of the best pork chops I've had. But it's like closer to pork belly than pork chop, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nick. She literally paid for dinner. We didn't expect it. She's so sweet. I love you, Nick. Thank you. It's editing day! Of course, even when I'm traveling, I have to deliver the best content for my stand stand. This is honestly truly my passion. Sometimes I do dread editing. It's such a long process, but it's so rewarding in the end, so I still do it. I love making videos for you guys, and obviously this is the reason I'm able to live the life I live. And I always have to thank you guys. Thank you so, so much. I have so much gratitude for everyone. So me making content for you guys, this is my way of showing my gratitude. It's just like a win-win situation, you know what I'm saying? But I have dinner plans with Stu and Nick. Colette again tonight. We're just gonna go to SMC side. I haven't gone that often, but every time I've been, it's always so much fun. And I just love the vibes there. I took a 20 minute nap. I always need my little power nap in the afternoon. I don't nap for that long, but I just need that little power nap, you know? What the fuck is wrong with my hair? Anyway, let's go! We are in an Uber right now, but I have to bring my computer with me so I can finish editing before Wednesday. It's currently Monday, but I have to finish editing the video because we are actually going on a nice little mountain getaway for like two days. So I really just have to be editing. It's probably going to be like a 40 minute car ride, so I need to make use of my time wisely. Also, we're going to the mall to get the new glasses that Stewie got. You guys know, in my last video, Stewie lost his glasses in the jet ski. The glasses he got are Coach. He actually got two glasses. Anyway, we're gonna go. You guys are gonna see. We made it to the mall in SMC side to boo. We're waiting for Nicolette, our friend, to arrive, so I still I'm walking and editing. Gonna make the most out of every single minute of the day. I noticed that a lot of Japanese companies would make restaurants here in the Philippines and they would like market it as something so bougie. Like Yayoike is literally fast food teishoku in Japan. And they're lining up for it. I saw Yoshinoya and they love Yoshinoya here. Also, Nicolette finally can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we made it to the glasses store and Stewie is going to claim his two glasses. Look, he's struggling so much to find even the receipts for his glasses. <laughs> this is it's the Armani one. Armani. Armani. It's the Armani, Armani one. <laughs> <laughs> you Wait, see. that's so cute. Is it cute? Yeah, it's so cute. I'm actually obsessed. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so good. <gasps> that's so cute. Yeah, it's okay. such an upgrade from the blue one you have. You look more mature, I think. But that one's the one I'm excited for. <laughs> Oh my god, but yeah, look at it. That's so cute. Look at the details on the side. It says coach with like the coach logo. That's so cute. <gasps> oh Can god. I have this one? I think this one's so cute. Oh my god, it looks good on you. Does it? Are you obsessed? Wait, without the cap, it's so much better. <gasps> oh. Yeah, you look more mature. I don't know what to say. I'm so happy. Okay. Spent a lot of money and I think it was worth it. Uh. I can see! <laughs> Stewie did not have glasses for three days. Oh and like, we were just like out and about and he literally was not able to appreciate anything. So you guys know how I bought these shoes yesterday, right? Oh yeah, wait, I have to show you guys at me wearing it. <gasps> I put Nicolette on because Nicolette and I love Birkenstock and we're looking for them now so Nicolette can buy them and we can match. We're literally matching outfits today and we have to buy- They're all open. <laughs> One of the things I really wanted to get while I was here is Dunkin' Donuts. We don't have it in Japan so... I miss it. Siri looks so good with his new glasses. Also, what I really want from here are those little orange pieces of shit. Like, look at them. Munchkin glasses. We got the munchkin. One of my favorite things about Filipino customer service is they're just like friends. Like, they will write your jokes. Japanese people are respectful, but they're not that fun, I feel yeah. like. In the US, they're very sociable, but if they hate the day, they will also hate you. Anyway, let's go eat dinner. So, we came to one of my favorite Filipino restaurants called Capelacuna. I got myself green mango salad. It has onions, green mango, 
and red tomato. It also comes with shrimp sauce. I don't know why, but I love the smell of this. It makes me want to go. Oh my god. Salad first. Green mango is one of my favorite fruits ever. Wait, it's so good. Nicolette, what did you order? Lichen kawali with panakas. Stewie and I got the same thing. We got bangos. I was originally gonna get the lichen kawali one. Oh, hey. This is my first bangos in years, I think. And of course, my favorite, adobong kangkong. Anyway, we're just gonna continue eating and let's move on to the next thing on the agenda. It's time for a road trip! Thank you, Nicolette, for always driving us everywhere. We are literally driving for more than three hours to go to the south of Seb. <laughs> Seb! We got so many nostalgic Filipino snacks that we're gonna try some of them! Oh my god, this thing. I grew up eating this, the strawberry one. Nicolette was like, why didn't you get the chocolate one? Because the strawberry one is the best! Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. We got Marty's cracklings and patata -ta 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 -ta. The reason we're driving so far away is because we're gonna go glamping. Nicolette planned the whole thing. She's such a good planner. She booked an Airbnb and it's literally like a dome in the middle of nowhere and it's like clear so you can watch the stars at night. I'm so excited. I think glamping is one of the things in my bucket list. I just decided now. And we are checking it right away. Also, look at Stewie's new glasses. Which one do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer this one or the coach one? Nicolette said she prefers this one. It is very Stewie's vibe, but yeah. I personally prefer the coach one because it's just so like expensive and rich looking. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's get going. We made it to this place called Car Car and they are known for their roasted pigs and chicharron. And also there's this food called Tinuguan and it's literally pig's blood that they cook. I love that they boil their utensils so you know it's clean. Salad first! So for today's Filipino salad, we have goso and lato. These are two types of seaweed. I used to love this so, so much when I was in the Philippines. Look at these, it's like little tiny bits of little pieces of bitches. And you just eat it, and it's like covered in vinegar. Mm. This one as well, it's pretty much the same thing, but that one pops in your mouth, and this one's more like a drag queen's wig. I like this more. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And they have good music playing. It's so nostalgic. Lechon is just like the most iconic Filipino food. They should make it the national food of the Philippines. In the Philippines, we also eat this. This is like the traditional rice in the Philippines. It's called puso. They wrap it in palm leaves and there's just rice inside. It's so fragrant. And you just hold it and eat it like this. I've said this over and over again. Japanese food is so boring. Filipino food is my favorite cuisine. Except for sushi. I love sushi. Mm. But yeah, we're just having a late breakfast. It's currently 11 a.m. We still have an hour to go on the road trip before we get there. We have officially made it to the mountain resort. The domes are over there. It's actually really cool. Like, we're gonna stay in those little domes. But first and foremost, we are going to ride this cute red truck. What the fuck? <laughs> we are going to ride this nice little truck and we are going to have a literal four hour tour around the area and we are going to be like climbing the mountains and hiking with sleep deprivation I don't know if that's a good idea but we really want to see the area it's also like kind of rainy so we'll see what happens but I'm so excited for the adventure I'm excited <laughs> yes whoa we got the whole truck to ourselves this is actually so fun this is insane so Wait, this is insane. Why? <laughs> There's like no seatbelt whatsoever, and we're just gonna be zooming through the mountains. Let's see what happens. Grab onto happens. your cameras. I don't even know where we're going exactly and why it's gonna take four hours, but I'm so excited. Stop number one, we made it to Osmania Peak and we are going to have a 30 minute hike up this mountain. Let's go! Ooh, it's actually a really steep hike. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't wear my Birkenstock. <laughs> I wore my 
my favorite shoes. <laughs> Bye, Stewie! <laughs> Baldi! You guys, we are not even all the way up yet, but the view is so insane already. Look at them, they're so slow! Because I'm from Tokyo, being in nature is so refreshing. The fact that I'm just like on top of a mountain with like literal cabbages. Amazing! You guys, the t-shirt is coming off. It's so hot! I love that there are like stores, little stops like that, where they sell drinks and food as well on the way to the peak. Just in case you get hungry and thirsty. Fun fact, Osmania Peak is the highest peak in the entirety of Cebu province. And we're just hiking it like that. We ate. We are almost at the peak. It's so pretty. And if you look closely, you can see the coast. It's raining. <laughs> you guys, we officially made it to the very, very top. We made it to the peak. But it's literally raining. This is crazy. Oh my god, guys. This is wild. It's raining so hard. Santa's over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That was the wildest experience ever. It just started raining while we were at the peak. And now it's so foggy. We're just like waiting until it calms down. You guys, we survived. We're all the way down back to the car. But that was wild. And because the floor was so wet from the rain, it was so hard to come down. And it was so slippery. I feel like it took us twice the time to get down. That was so wild. You are drenched. <laughs> just when you guys thought we are done, we came all the way to this nice little rooftop cafe. Cafe. Oh my god, look! This is crazy. The view is insane. If you guys can see, these are the mountains, but the beach is like over there. You can see the ocean. This is crazy. Wow. Oh my god, uh, please. And we're gonna have a little bit of a pick-me-up. We got Nutella marshmallow peanut butter fucking... <laughs> 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 I'm like starving. Also, this looks amazing. Also, the wind is crazy. Bon appetit. I'm so cold. I love it. Bon appetit. Mmm. It tastes like peanut butter s'mores. So yummy. It's actually so cold up here in the mountains and it's so windy. Finally, we got our coffee at this video. Let's try it. Is it just too hot or it tastes like water? And we got grilled cheese. Ooh. Mmm. Mm, that's good. Green up lemonade. Mmm. That's Stewie's reaction for everything. <laughs> okay, I like. I love it. We're back at the resort and we are finally going into our little hotel room. This is like a little glamping moment. It's literally just a dome. And there's so many activities. There's like karaoke, there is complimentary breakfast and dinner. Everything's so cool. This is insane. This is actually wild. Like we have our little dome. We even have our own jacuzzi. And we also have this nice little moment over here. Oh my god, this is so cute. Whoa! Cool. Oh my god, look! This is so cool! And look at the top. We literally have our own little skylight so we can watch the stars at night! What the fuck? This is crazy. We're gonna open the curtains as well so we have a view of the outdoors. <gasps> What the fuck? Nicola did so well with the planning. There's also the pool right over there. We might have to just dip our feet. Or take a full dip. He's so sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my god, I'm excited. We also have our own <gasps> shower and toilet and bath and everything. Wait. This is amazing! We also have the shower in the dome. We have our own little toilet corner over here. Why is this so yeah. cool? This is what glamping is about. I've never experienced anything like this. This is actually so, so cool. The jacuzzi. <laughs> oh my god, now we are watching a movie outside. We're watching Luca. $24 for the campfire. We're gonna have to pay for that, honestly. I'm just gonna do it. Also, this is where we're gonna have dinner. Let me show you guys where we're gonna have dinner. This is insane. This is like peak luxury. We have this little gazebo over here where we can have dinner. Also, Nicolette and I got the best massage. I feel so, so light. And we got to order the food before we started the massage. So when we got here, the food was ready right away. This is luxury. <laughs> I'm so grateful. So for dinner, we're having seasick. Seasick is, oh my god, I feel like I say this for every single food, but seasick is one of my favorite Filipino foods. Filipino cuisine is just my favorite. Shut up. Also, we have a chop soy for the vegetables. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. 
Sana pa siya. Really? Lame siya ng sisig. Lame siya ng sisig, di ba? Right? Oh my god. Tequila sunrise and margarita. Cheers! <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna have dinner and let's get going. We're gonna watch Luca. Hey, Stan Stans. Good morning, Stan Stans. Good morning. Stan Stans, Stan Stans, Stan Stans. Good morning, baby. Good morning, mommy. <laughs> He's up. Stewie's always the last one to wake up. <laughs> he is so sleep deprived. Last night after dinner, we ended up taking a dip in that jacuzzi. And for breakfast, we are having longanisa egg, some garlic rice, and some coffee, of course. Unfortunately, we're only staying here for one night, and we have to go back to the city today. I'm not here in the Philippines for that long. I wish I stayed for like a literal whole month, but life moves on. Hey, Stan Stan. Hi. But yeah, life has been so good. Life has just been so fun. The view I woke up to this morning, oh my god, let let me just show you guys before breakfast I have to go in and show you guys what I saw when I woke up so this was open right and I slept right over here the moment I the moment I opened my eyeballs that is wild like this is just such a cool concept I want to do more of this glamping thing Oh but yeah, it's breakfast time. We all got the same thing because this is like the best thing on their menu. Longaniza. Salad first. Ow. Filipino food is the best cuisine and I will die on that hill. This breakfast, so good. I do need a little bit more vegetables, but... But yes, you know what? Let's just finish our little breakfast moment and let's get going with our adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Time check, it's 3.45 p.m. and we are still at the resort because we are stranded. Not Nicolette's car's battery literally exploding. But like, we're fucking stranded this time. Like, look at that face. <laughs> I have been editing all day. And I'm just like trying to finish it because today's a Wednesday and I have to upload this by tonight at midnight. And we just got some mango shake. Cheers. Stewie's filming himself doing the super shy dance in like random places. And it's also raining, so a lot of things are not in our favor, but it's fine. Like, we're still having so much fun. Yeah, life is so good. <laughs> like, I don't care. And I'm with amazing people. That's what matters. I'm gonna update you guys when we are finally back in the city. Which is probably gonna be, like, late at night, because we have to buy a new battery. This is crazy. We are in the middle of nowhere. It's currently 7 p.m., and we have a flat tire. Just when we thought it was over, we changed the battery, and there's a flat tire. Like, two hours away from the city. How does my Nicolette feel? Tired, but happy. Okay. I'm excited that we're experiencing all this shit together. Nothing like experiencing... <laughs> okay, the tires are fixed. Anyway, we're quickly going to 7-Eleven to get some food. And I still have to edit the video, you guys. I hope I can do it for midnight tonight because it's a Wednesday. I can't let my stance dance down. Okay, I'm gonna go get some snacks. We still have like two hours drive back to the city. 7-Eleven in the Philippines, they have Mr. Donuts. They also have like a lot of different foods that you get yourself. I just... They also have the loudest music. I can't put this in because I'm gonna get copyrighted. Holy fuck. Oh my god, this is the most misleading drink. I was like, oh my god, they have oat milk. It literally just says milk with oatmeal inside. I almost just drank milk and I'm lactose untalented. You guys, oh, it's our god. last day at J Park Island Resort and our last day in Cebu as well. Nicola, thank you so much for always being with us this entire trip. But today, we are going to South Korea, so we are really excited. Unfortunately, Nicolette is not coming with us because she sells cars. But yeah, right now, we're just gonna have our final breakfast at J Park Island Resort. Let's motherfucking go. I am honestly gonna miss Filipino food so, so much, but we do have to move on and go to our next destination. I am just manifesting that the next hotel we go to have really good breakfast as well. But yeah, I'm really excited. Honestly, let's just get going. I am just gonna spend time with two of my lovely people so let's go to the airport i'm gonna miss you sebu 
we just checked in at the airport. We're on the plane. We made it to the hotel. We landed at 8 p.m., but it's currently 1 a.m. That was the craziest adventure. But I'm gonna have to end the video right here. You guys are gonna find out everything from the next video. The adventure continues. Julian, I am so excited. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys again on my next video next week. Bye! Bye.